What's up guys? This is the Rifleman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire to the Wall. Let's play as... <laughs> I forgot for a second there. As Venice. And in this episode, we are withstanding a combined attack from the Ottomans and the Georgians. This is all of the forces the Ottomans have left to put in the field. So let's get cracking. With this victory, the road to Yerevan is wide open. And the end of the... Uh, the end of the Ottoman faction is near. Then we can well, we pretty rapidly need to start building up more forces. One to push towards um, Georgia, then the other to push towards potentially, or at least to um, hold off the Persian hordes. Although we could do that maybe by fortifying Yerevan itself rather than building up a huge army. Put up a smaller army with a decent garrison. Okay, so they are on the defensive. Well, we are, we're on the defensive, sorry. So let's take advantage of that, especially because our terrain advantage is glorious. Something like this. Another set of guns. Let's just go for a fairly bog-standard 3-3-3. Too far. There we go. Because then that puts. That gives us a reasonable reserve should the AI attempt to screw us over. Kind of screw us over. Not massively so. Okay, let's take. These two strong units of infantry plus you. Line them up like this. So that is the Georgian contingent that they are facing towards. My artillery is engaging their artillery. Let's see how the enemy reacts. Destroyed one gun. Keep my colonial dragoons on the flanks. There go. The Georgian contingent is going to advance directly towards us. They don't even have bayonets. Big blunder. Howitzers, really the load canister. Although these guys are camel gunners and Tartars, they're all skirmish cavalry. Clear off. Let's get rid of this pop up. Sorry, I had a AVG pop up sat right in front of my screen. I'm sure a bunch of you are going AVG. I know. I've got malware bites as well. <laughs> it was literally like like a giant core of my screen. So that artillery's continuing to be their artillery. Oh yes, they're limbering up. Aiming the artillery's prompted the provincial cavalry to launch their attack. Let's get my colonial dragoons out on the flank. So if you hit them on the limbered up, they're a massive target, and the gun team, you know, one hit destroys the entire team. So this could be devastating for them. And this team, which hasn't fired. Aim at the. There we go. So the Georgians are advancing. 
Those gunners are routing. Great. In which case then, even though they're out of range, switch the canister shot to get ready. General bodyguards being engaged by our troops. Shoot him out of his saddle. Fold these two units in. So there's some of the some of the Ottoman reinforcements coming in. So, you know, you keep engaging the riskers of souls because they're the, the scary unit. This unit forward. If he goes to the bayonets, they definitely don't have decent firing drills. Unless they've been given them. 48th. You may need to reload and fire as fast as you can. That's the point. My colonial line is different colours. They're blue. My dragoons in against the riskers of souls. Four on the square. They don't pursue, although I might commit one to the pursuit. I do you have enemy camels on the flank? My cavalry is exposed. Oh no, they're, they're trying to pin us for the Mamelukes. Run. Run through. Mercenaries are pottering up. And then my cavalry's through. Commit my cavalry again. The Georgian contingent has been scattered. Cavalry to try and pursue some of the Georgian infantry. This artillery unit engaged, the camel mercenaries to the rear. The Mamelukes are broken. These guys advance ahead of my guns now. Right, pursue and kill their infantry. Let's teach Georgia what it means to make war against us.
you. The risks of souls have been wasted in a full frontal attack. Excellent. Excellent. I'm not so bothered about the Ottomans because they will like to just retreat to Yerevan. Stopped in time. All my cavalry gang up on the sixth. Well, nearly all of it. Get my infantry out of there. My dragoons can deal with this. jumped on the sick. All my gunners should still be engaging the Desert Camel mercenaries. Okay, actually, let's get my infantry back in because it looks like the Mamelukes might actually be winning. Over here... Don't walk in front of the troops that are shooting. Well, now let's join the Bashi Bazooks. They want to—they want a melee fight. They can have one. Hit by the bayonet. First regiment colonial lines going in. There we go, they didn't like that. No, sir. Okay, let's pull back. damage to the Mamelukes. Burning the infantry and really made a difference. I'm not giving up without a fight. Kill the last of the Georgians. and my Clono Dragoons after the Bashi Mazooks. There's only four men left. You should be able to get them all. Got him. Let's try to hit the Camel Mercenaries. Now they came back. All my guns engage the camel mercenaries. There you go, let's move my troops forward. Let's try to go after some of these archers. Keep my guns shooting at the camel mercenaries. Oh, that's their general. That's why they don't want to commit them. Okay, 
I mean, it won't be long before the, these guys collapse as well. I, mean, I don't really mind if the I don't really mind if the archers actually survive because they're pretty terrible units. I don't mind if they have some of those running around. It's all the other stuff. Okay, switch my guns to engage the line infantry. Let's bring my cavalry back to engage their camels. Camels may have a bonus against horses, but we outnumber them significantly. By about a factor of three to one. They're already shaken. They'd already, they've already been routing before. Camel morale is very low. There we go. Actually, you pursue the camels. You do those guys. Yeah, we're going to continue. Bring my general in. Halt fire the artillery. You go for these guys as well. Yep, because uh, horses can outpace camels. We can actually pursue and destroy a camel unit. Which is pretty good. Let's try to get most of our cavalry to focus on this infantry blob because they're a bit spread out. More cavalry, better pathfinding. There we go. Nice. Let's do the same trick with... Well, they got him. Nice. So that force, that attempted to try a bit of an active defense, did not work, did it? Back you go. Excellent. Ooh, the Russians are falling back. Interesting, very interesting. Okay, but it looks like the rest of the world is leaving us alone. The Brits are not moving. I mean, I could march out and attack them, but I don't want to. Cool. Right. Still laying siege to Baghdad. That's fine. I mean, I could try and attack it now. I've got the um, got the strength. Ultimate. I think I might do just because this is with the Russians falling back here, except for you. It might be a good idea now to take advantage of fact that we can knock out the Ottomans. And if we knock out the Ottomans, we can try and get an alliance with Persia. Because right now the only problem is actually are we enemies of enemies of the Mughal Empire. We are peace. No. I'll give you two techs. So we've got peace and trade with the Mughals, that's great. Persia is so Dagestan and Sweden. I'm fairly sure we're not at. We're, oh no, we are at war with Dagestan. Peace with Dagestan, and we're not at war with Sweden. So when we knock out the Ottomans, there's nothing stopping us having an alliance with Persia. Cool. Okay. Dimitrio Ferretti, let's engage the Baghdad garrison. And then we will attack the garrison to the north. That's the Ottomans done. If we can get that alliance with Persia, that would be very, very, very good. It would secure our eastern flank. We'd still need some form of garrison at Baghdad itself, but not a huge one. This army could be redeployed north to push against the Russian Empire, perhaps. Rain. 
rain, rain, rain. Okay, I'm going to deploy. I have no howitzers or anything useful to support. Push through the center of town. So the bulk of my troops are going to be deployed to the east. With grenadiers and pikes that can skirmish, that can skirt through the edge of town. Keep that clear. Everyone else needs to get get out. So right, we need to do something like this. Thankfully, they're firing shrapnel shot at us, which seems to be, which is just generally quite ineffective. Reinforcements are coming from the opposite direction, which is really handy. Going to let their. Actually, might use my artillery to focus on their camels. My pikemen in here would have a good time. Pikes take position here. Hello. Found some of their skirmishes. Okay, let's take you guys. Run you through the town. Cavalry push hard and fast. Form pike wall. In case they get any intentions of pushing it through towards us. They might just sit there shooting at us, but that's okay. Excellent. There goes the unit of archers. Let's plug the gap here. You may plug the gap at the top. Form our squares. They are engaging our pokemon, but I don't think it's going to be satisfactory for them. They're charging into our square again. This infantry secure the gap. Pikemen get out of Pike Wall. Form a defensive perimeter because my grenadiers are going to take the armory. Excellent. Get out of square here. Reform the line. Push the cavalry ahead. Two guys, pikemen, charge the camel nomads if they're going to let us get there. You're in trouble. Grenadiers engage the riskers of souls. We're going to cut through these camel gunners quite nicely. Set up our men. Chase them down. Set up and engage. The uh, enemy have clustered together quite nicely here. 
send one of my cavalry units to go dispatch with the horse artillery. Mamelukes are broken, the archers are upset. Felain want to try to get involved. New men vain in charge of Janissaries. There's some Bashi Bazooks up the, coming in. Plus camel gunners. Okay, the enemy, you, the enemy here is, has broken, effectively. Yep, they have broken. Form a new line. Pull the cavalry back. Okay, you guys... Face. Oh, that's our cavalry coming in. <laughs> Don't worry about that. Something like that. The Mamelukes are going to be falling thick and fast. Have you guys reloaded? If not, these chaps are going to be charge. New men can engage the camel gunners. Artillery can't hit what we want them to hit. There go the Bashi Bazooks. Bless them. Box them in. <laughs> That's right, line up to shoot the first Grenadier Regiment. Yep. You got nothing. Okay, let's end that there. So destroy the reinforcing army. Baghdad is ours. Let's spend a bunch of money on repairs. Let's demolish the college. That'll go a long way to helping out. We can repair the iron workshop now. Let's send our rake over towards Persia. Build a sloop. Let's repair the port. Let's build better roads. Once we get rid of university, that will just solve our problem instantly. Um, then... We attack the garrison at Yerevan. And by doing so, we rid us of one of our greatest enemies for the entirety of this campaign a, a, a faction that we've been at war with in one way or another since day one and on and off and a faction whose empire we have effectively displaced Hillary on the high ground all my infantry is roughly equally weak Something like this. I don't want you all to go there. I want you all like this. Just spread out. My artillery is going to aim at. 
They haven't got any artillery, so just focus on their camels, I suspect. Come on, you men, secure the crest of that hill. Oh, they do have a. Yeah, I thought they did. Oh well. The objective is. We can take losses, that's okay. Nicely marched into range of our infantry. Let's keep my general nearby the mortars. Just line them up like that for now. Focus on the mortars. Firing shrapnel, which is a bit eh. Bazaars. Smash them. They're in our way. Oh no! Cavalry! Oh. Shattered, excellent. Start to try and deploy some of this infantry in all these little gaps. Form square! So the camels have come back. Tartar pushing in. There we go. Come on, general. kill enough to shatter? I don't think so. Excellent. The square is holding nicely. Now you chase them down to make sure they don't come back. Other than that, these things happen. You the Armenian archers, you go for the general's bodyguard. That's right, risks of souls, you're going down. Now it's going to be everybody engaging the mortars. Yeah, yeah. One unit routed. That's... You got chased down by the riskers of souls. You killed the enemy general. Kill those mortars. There we go. They stop routing from the risks of souls. Another risks of souls. Oh, oh no, they're not running. Oh Jesus, let's get out of here. But that looks like everything. Excellent. That's very, very good. That is the end of the Ottoman Empire, and that is lovely. Excellent.
Excellent. Okay. Minor nation Persia. Quest Alliance. Oh, yes, they took it immediately. Exceptional. A cars, church school, infrastructure, dirt roads. Let's get my African native infantry en route. You chaps carry on replenishing. I believe they could do with some heavy cavalry and howitzers. They have done very well. Uh, right. That's really good. So we're going to knock down this college, replace it with a church school. Let's get this region uh, converted to Catholicism. Then we can turn towards Tbilisi. Then we can look up towards Cherkask or potentially launch an assault across to Crimea. Let's send another light galley ray into Batumi. Nice. Okay. I think I want to I want to hit in turn, I think. Let's see how things develop. Looks like Spain is gathering another army to try and invade us. Uh, opportunity to intercept, absolutely. Just get them all. <laughs> mm, more tech stealing. So where are those Russian armies going? And obviously Venetian research is unparalleled in the entire world. That's why all these factions are rushing to my um, <laughs> rushing to my recenters of education. Oh, the Mughal's going to declare war on me. Italians are pushing to try and kick the Brits out, but it hasn't worked. So my intention is to take, um, yeah, I'll sell you technologies, America. Yeah, yeah. Ultimately, I'd like to I would like to cultivate America as a powerful nation in the the Americas. Workers on strike in Mesopotamia. Now they're really happy. Church school. Okay, advance. Back here, we've got a good cavalry and howitzer contingent. You can advance up. Okay, 26,000. That's really good. Let's go for some industry, improve our exports of cotton, because now we've got... Well, there's lots of ports that we can export from. I mean, right now, Russia's blocking that port, which is fine. Let's upgrade to a dry dock. 14,000. Let's upgrade the coaching into a boardy house, because Ankara's getting a little bit ruffled. Let's get another unit of Dragoons. Great, the church school. Try to get a squeak out a little bit more religious happiness. Although actually we've not got enough ca enough Catholics to get there, but we'll soon get there. Religious unrest is is just going through the floor. Okay, so Prague is now defended. Try repair this. Okay, my frontier towns, they can they can wait. Let's upgrade one of these ports. Okay, 
So you don't need a church school and a agent. So let's send you up towards Yerevan. Let's get Metal Roads in Ankara. 1900. Let's get... So we've got roads here being built. Let's get a steampunk time mine. Could have gone through that route, but that's okay. Let's see if we can get any... Is there anyone we can trade with? Savoy! Okay, I'll give you military access. Yes. Oh yes, and we took Milan. Um, does that... Get it? We don't, we don't have any other true trade partners. Let's see if I can make peace with Spain after they've... Excellent, they lost Milan. Trade agreement. Trade agreement and I'll give you... Measuring tools. Eh, I'll do it. Just to see if we can... We can kind of... Uh, work something out in terms of my most profitable regions it's still naples backed up with venice greece athens uh, mesopotamia will be on its way when everything's fully upgraded but let's hit end turn so we just want to keep an eye on esfahan we don't want to attack them You'll have to find someone else to attack. So now we can focus on attacking the uh, the Georgians and the Russians. Ah, now if you come after my little little galley, ah, oh, I didn't even have a chance to run away. Savoy's going for the Barbary States. That's fine. Ooh, Persia's... Oh no, I don't want Persia to go for Georgia. I need it to maintain... I don't, I don't need it to maintain access to Russia. I can land across the Black Sea. Well, I've got a neat idea. If I push out from the nearby territory, can I attack and call upon um, <laughs> uh, Persian help to get to get it? I think I can. Let's do it. Thirty-one thousand in a turn. That's delightful. Lots of possible upgrades. We can't worry about them now. They don't have any mortars. I mean, I don't have any mortars either. Okay, let's sacrifice one unit to pop up as many others as we can. I suspect they will not. They do. They don't mind it. Actually, that's really nice. Well, let's start spending in this territory to keep them happy. Let's build walls around Baghdad because things are actually a bit safe down here, and we've got plenty of cash. Okay, largely. Yes, you're getting better roads. Most of these areas are still quite poor. Let's get two cheap port upgrades. Then let's oh. steal a march on Persia, our new allies, <laughs> and capture the Georgian capital. Let's do it. Excellent. See, this is how it works, Aust uh, Persia. 
You know, we're all friends here. This is my fourth? Oh, that would suck. Coming in to me. Oh, oh boy, I get to meet the third president, Thomas Jefferson. And he just dunks on you like that. That's just... That's just sad. Although, to be fair, I can't remember who the fourth president was. So, maybe he was. Maybe he did suck. Who knows? It's literally impossible to know. So, set up the guns. Set up this. Set up that. Excellent. We're attacking the... Uh, city from different directions so you need to redeploy some of your troops to deal with the Persians let's hope we can make a breach before they destroy our guns we should be okay especially if they're now running around getting ready <laughs> so they've got lots of Kizilbashi cavalry the AI always sets their guns up right here, which means they just kill a bunch of their own troops. But we are making... I wouldn't be surprised if we make our breach, if they come around and try and attack with us. But we're going to do the whole, you know, try and attack at the walls, force them to try and charge out, because look at all this cavalry. Oh, look at all the little trumpeters all together. All the little Jimmy Jams in their soft hats. There's the general. So are you making a breach? Zero, 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 zero. I mean, you could, you are. You just assault the wall. Yeah, like, look, they're not trying to stop Persia from getting in. They are almost entirely deployed to try and stop me. So I'm going to advance my line up. This line's going to start, potentially start scaling some walls. They've attracted the cavalry. Come on, you men. Make your way into that damn port. Give us a practical, practicable breach. Line infantry. You're, you're about to lose your nation's capital. How do you feel about that? So they, they, there's a massive fight now. So the Persians have put in there, pushed in the native lancers, the general's bodyguard. Lots of Kizilbashi cavalry. Send some men to capture this outer fortification. Set up our defensive ring around it. Get my guns to work on this section of the fort. Allied general has died, but so has the enemy general. So many emotions. Try to scale the wall, see if we can make them push out. Okay, they're not going to try and take up the defences. Oh no, they are going to take up the defences. In which case then, yes, keep shooting. They've deployed a lot of cavalry to try to stop the Ottomans in a very futile gesture here, because they will die. 
against all this infantry. A couple of units coming around to support our attack. They're starting to advance out of the wall. We're starting to advance out of the fort towards us, which is what we wanted. My artillery to start attacking ground in front in the breach. Excellent. Attack the fortifications. Man is still climbing. Okay, let's capture the gate. Although now he's starting to chug. He's chugging because of the Ottomans at the far fast, the Persians at the far side. All because of these guys. So much we can do. Okay, my artillery. Yeah, fire on the bridge. Boom, 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 boom. Excellent shots. Okay, let's take the... You men take the gatehouse. Because you're largely up, except for these guys. I'm pushing more men out of the gates to try to stop us. But that's going to fail. Okay, you're going to try and block them off. These men all salt the wall. The gate is ours. Let's get my cavalry over here. The regiment of foot is broken. So we're engulfing the 8th Regiment. Okay, when you're in position, you're going to man the fire step on both sides. You're almost in position. You're going to start shooting at these guys right in front of you, hopefully. See, they're not even trying to take any of the walls, they're just just keep killing. I may eventually work for them. But we are taking a much more measured approach. So you may need to push along and attack the 9th Regiment to support our infantry that are attempting to assault. Give this cavalry in order to try and barge through, because the gate is ours. So you men get involved in fighting the 13th Regiment. See, they're, they're just going to try and push in. Fools. through there we 
go. We got him. Cavalry run in. Good. There's just not enough momentum to stop them now. They can just run in. Let's get in there and give them some support, fellows. You men get in there and attack the general's bodyguard. They're going to charge the 11th from the flank. We're attacking in column. Push through. Push through. There we go. Kill the general. You men wheel off and attack the 13th. Three men left. I don't know if the general's actually still in this one. Nah, he's gonna be dead. Get my colonial line over for the wall. To the centre, rather. There you go. The enemy cavalry are finally starting to break. Hey, there was a general here. One last general staff left. Kill! 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 If I can get my infantry into the centre, we can hold it while my cavalry then wheels around and starts to try and bash into these chaps that are left. There we go. The enemy cavalry force is broken. Charge into the 14th. If you take, I mean, I, I've taken the gates, you should be allowed to get in. Yeah, there you go. the 14th. There. Yeah. We start to... It starts to devolve into a bit of a chug when there's... when you've got no howitzers to thin things out somewhat. A handful of guys on top of the wall. shattered. Okay, bring the cavalry along. Charge the back of this block. Because they'll go down real nice. Except for the stuttering. Go get him. There we go. 
that was that was their center of gravity and we just annihilated it sorry persians this is our town now our territory get rid of that university let's send a cavalry unit down to batumi send a spy up towards Cherkask. get the town developing minus 24 so we'll go we'll go yeah yeah the getting rid of the university will go a long way towards getting them on our side and in one one theory is that you want to keep the universities because they are the modern universities you can only grow in town home, home provinces but to be honest with one university with one modern university just blitzing through everything you end up really not needing a huge amount of research um capacity I trade with the u.s no i can't I will offer you empiricism. I will demand four grand for it. Fair enough. Oh, okay, what if I offer you common land enclosures for a grand? Yeah, okay, they took that. Couple of grand, that's nice. Excellent, okay. So you are successfully converting the people. Don't need to worry about recruiting a garrison yet, I suppose. Two thousand. What can we get in terms of industry? Great, this prosperous craft workshop. Cool. So the Persians lost their general in that fight. Savoy are likely to knock out the Barbary states. Opponents declare war on us. Um, I'm not going to call my allies in because it should be unnecessary. Nobody else has joined them anyway, so we're still only at war with um, the old favourites plus uh, Poland now. Aha! They're going to advance through through ISC, eh? Very well. We can move troops from Istanbul and potentially attack potentially attack um, Crimea. Our alliance with the Persians appears to be holding. British have, yeah, you know, they've pushed north. Georgia appears to want to gather their strength to attack us. They demand all these territories and they want to become my protectorate. No, because if you lose your home territory, all those become pirate territories. It's a bad idea. Another agent. Okay, let's send you over to. I see, because that's a territory they are going. The enemy are going to lose. And Yeho Bruno push up. Request reinforcement. And then you probably want some. 
Oh, it says uh, Sophia in particular. Although, to be fair, I can get a turn's worth of line recruit line infantry and ship them up by ship them up over land. Although I should, uh, it'd probably be easier if just do it from Istanbul. That's a reasonable force. It could stop. It would stop these guys for sure. And if they're starting to push around here, I mean Warsaw's not going to fall anytime soon. Twenty-three thousand. So Baghdad's getting their walls. Tbilisi has walls. Yerevan, it's a real waste, but I'm going to give Yerevan walls to form a bit of a defensive line. Let's repair the shipyard. Although, to be honest, I don't really need a huge amount of naval production as it is. Can you raid... I mean, Crimea is now just exposed. Of, uh, I don't think there's anyone I could really use to capitalize on that. Because that would that would uh, upset Russia quite a lot. But I suppose here I want to build the garrison and start to push up towards Cherkask. Let's keep building a front line here. You're ready to fight against the Polish. We can start to squeeze eastward if we want to. But let's see let's see how if they how many of their troops they divert around here. Other than that, let's get a drill school here to try boost our recruitment capacity. Same with Let's just do some good upgrades across the board. 2600 you can upgrade the craft workshop in Naples. Good. Yeah, if, they, if these guys drift just a little bit too far north, we will intercept them for an engagement. Get one more unit of line infantry to bolster my garrison. You can... Oh, to be fair, you can leave Milan. We're not interested in really defending it. It's just not worth a huge amount. Port blockaded. War galleon, fifth rate, fifth rate. 33,000 income next turn, so I'm not overly bothered. Wait a minute, where do we get where do we get felts? Here. Yes, I definitely want to replace this with a trade with a trade port to get some felts onto the global market. Um, but looking at the timer, I believe it's time to end the episode. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed, and we'll see you next time for the continuing adventures of Venice. Cheers, everyone.